Hello, everyone. My name is Shawanda Parker, and I am the owner of the PPG store here in Baton Rouge. And I want to welcome you all to Sex Talk with Sharonda. And I want to start off by saying, if you have not registered for my website, please do so. www.theppgstore.com. I'll go back later on and add it. Um, for those of y'all, I'm going live uh, for my Instagram, and I'm going live for my Facebook. And today, we're going to be talking about sexless relationships, okay? Sexless relationships. This is extremely important, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna just say it like this here. The the initial question that came to me was about whose responsibility is it to initiate sex? Okay. And I'm just speaking from my personal perspective and what works for me and what seems to work for a lot of my customers that come in, you know, when I'm talking to them. So my thing is this here, when it comes down to initiation, both of y'all gotta be fucking hot and bothered for each other. Like both of y'all have to have a desire for each other and it shouldn't just go on in the bedroom, meaning that all throughout the day, y'all constantly flirting with each other all throughout the day. You constantly kissing and whispering and touching and y'all sexual with each other. My husband and I are extremely sexual. Like, and it doesn't matter who's around, we are, we are affectionate, and I have not always been a uh, affectionate person in public. I've not, I have not always been it. Like I fuck. Anybody that know me, no, I fuck. But I have not always been affectionate. Okay. And what I have learned is, for my husband, he needs that. So I had to learn to be who I need to be for my husband. So that means that I give him affection. It don't matter if it's a room full of people. It could be a thousand, two thousand, five thousand y'all up here. If I want to kiss him, guess what? I'm gonna kiss him. And I don't feel no type of way about it at all. Because one thing that I want the person that I'm with to always know is I desire you. I want you. You know, I'm not telling you that that you're not human and you can't sell. Well, this person is very handsome. Or this person smells very good. You got you got senses. You, you're a natural person. So you're going to have senses to be able to observe the people around you. But when it comes down to getting your pussy to jump, it should be the motherfucker that you that you laying down with every night. They get you hot and bothered and going like this. So the initial question was about initiating sex. <laughs> and um, the woman basically said that um, her husband kind of threw it out there that he wished that she would initiate more. And I and I did a whole blog about it, talking about why it's important. You you got to understand, the people we, that we with today, they have to deal with temptation all day long, okay? And I, when I'm speaking, I'm speaking from a woman's point of view, okay? So a lot of times when I'm talking, it seems like I'm talking to the women. But men, I'm talking to you too, but women... Your man out here in this world, you don't think he being tempted all day long? Fellas, your woman out here in this world, you don't think she being tempted at all? First of all, let me ask you this here. Why the fuck would you want something that don't nobody else want? Why would you even want it if don't nobody else want it? So I'm perfectly okay with somebody else wanting it. The thing is, we just got to know that they can't have it. Okay? So... Now that I've said that, okay, you have to understand that you're dealing with human beings that have certain needs that have to be met. They have to feel wanted. They have to feel desired, okay, in a sexual way. He got to feel like you want that dick from him. He got to feel like that. He got to almost have a certainty like she want this dick from me. Because see, when, when, when men dealing with other women, Especially when it's not like a serious type of relationship. The one thing that them women in the streets let them know is, I want that dick. And let me tell you how, how they they are so serious about it. They'll send a text message to check up on that dick. To see how him and that dick doing. Yeah. They'll, they, they don't have, they don't feel no type of way uh, sending a message and saying, shit, I sure wish you can come over here and pound up in this pussy. I sure wish you could come through. They don't have no problem doing that. So you as the wife, why the fuck you got a problem with it? 
Why you can't send a text message to your husband throughout the day and be like, shit, I sure want you to put that dick on me tonight. Bitch, bet, it's a date. Who initiated? You initiated because you just told him that shit, I, it's about that time. It's very important that the person that you with knows that you want them and desire them in a sexual way. So, the reason what, why I'm talking about sexless relationships is because there was a follow-up question. The follow-up question was, Sharonda, I read your blog about the importance of uh, initiating sex. But I'm initiating sex, and he basically does not want to have sex with me unless it's when he want to do it. Meaning, you can only get dick when he want to fuck. Meaning that if you in the mood, he just basically saying, fuck your mood. I ain't giving you no dick. This woman says she literally climbs on top of this man and he throws her off of him. So my thing is this here. What you're dealing with is rejection. Okay? And if you're not getting enough sex in your relationship, that means some questions have to be asked. Because, see, I don't believe that nobody is um, created and put here to live this life and not be happy. Y'all go to church on Sunday just like I do. And God wants you to be happy. Who, whoever went to church and the pastor ain't told you that God wants you to be around this bitch miserable. He He intended for you to just, just be, you know, miserable is the one of the only words that I can think about. Just upset. Sad, frustrated all the time. I don't serve a God like that. And I know you don't serve a God like that. And I'm like, okay, Sharonda, how you just swapped over? Sex and religion, this is what I do. They go hand in hand. So stay with me. My point is this here. You were created and you were not put here to be unhappy. Even in your bedroom. So you got to get with that person and say, look a here, look a here. Even if it's your woman. And she ain't giving you enough pussy. You're going to have to get with her and say, look, this ain't working. So we got to come up with some other options. Because I've come to you, because the lady said she didn't came to me. I've come to you already, and I told you that we're not being intimate as much as I would like for us to be intimate. And please do this in love. You ain't got to have no attitude. You ain't got to be nasty about it. You just got to have a conversation. Because at the end of the day, what you want to do is say, I'm trying to get me and you on the same page. Because clearly you happy. You are all right with all of that nuts sitting in your nutsack every night. I want to empty it out. And you don't want me to empty it out. Okay, fine. What's next? And then I know they're going to look at you like, well, what you mean what's next? What's next? What options do we have if we are in a sexless relationship? Let me tell you something, women, and men too. You ain't never got to depend on nobody to get you off. If you choose to stay in a sexless marriage, you don't have to be sexually frustrated in it because you can handle it for yourself. You see all this up here? I put them up here because I want you to know they come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. You can pretty much pick whatever one you want. That means that you can say, you know what? My husband's six inches, but I always wanted to know what the fuck a nine inch felt like. Well, bitch, you come to the store and get you a nine inch. Come get you one. You can say, you know what? My husband a black man, but I show I always wanted to try me a fucking white one. A fucking Latin one. You could come and get that. Yes, you can. My wife don't fuck me enough. I sure wish I can get pussy whenever I want it. Yes, the fuck you can. And the bitch wearing lingerie. You see that, huh? This bitch a slut for you. So, my point is this here. You do not have to be in a sexless relationship. It's about your mentality. If you choose to stay in something, you can create ways to have happiness in it. Believe me. Now, the next thing is the motherfuckers say, well, I ain't with all them toys. Well, motherfucker, I ain't using the toys with you no way. I'm not even thinking about using the toys with you. That was never on my mind. I bought this shit for me. You say you don't want to fuck. I do. We on the same page. See, y'all got to start taking control of your lives. The problem is 
Y'all are so considerate about motherfuckers who ain't considerate about you. Because if you so concerned about them, then why the fuck ain't concerned that you ain't getting what the fuck you need in this relationship? And you saying all I want is some dick from time to time. You saying all I want is some pussy from time to time. But you with a motherfucker who can't make sure your needs is being met, but the first thing you want to tell me about is... Well, I'm trying to be nice about it by introducing some fucking toys because these bitches ain't got pauses and they don't talk back. The next option, option two is we can be together, but can we respectfully agree that I go get some dick from somewhere else? Can we respectfully agree that I go get some pussy from somewhere else? Because see, I was being nice about the toy shit. This was option one, okay? The, let me just say this here. To not get yourself taken care of sexually is not an option. It's not. Because you are you were created to be sexual. Your pussy don't get wet because it ain't supposed to. Your dick don't get hard because it ain't supposed to. You were created to do this shit, okay? When God put you together, he put all that shit in place because you was created to have sex. I said it. Tell your preacher I said it. Tell your bishop I said it. Tell your motherfucking evangelist Sharonda Parker said it. You was created to bust nuts on a regular basis. When you stop busting nuts on a regular basis, all your shit start drying up. Women got to come up and hit me to get dilators and shit because they hold and closed up because they ain't fucked in so long. Pussy don't even get wet no more because they ain't fucked in so long. Dick acting up, coming out quick because you don't get pussy often enough and as soon as you smell it, you coming. Yeah, you was created to do this shit. So what I'm saying is, this is option one. Option two is, I'm going to respectfully go outside our house and go and find me somebody that I'm going to deal with on a sexual level. I'm going to deal with you on this emotional shit, this financial shit, this spiritual shit, but when it come down to my fucking pussy, I'm going to deal with them over there. When it come down to this dick, I'm going to deal with them over there. But see, the thing is, I, I, y'all got me excited. The thing is, they don't want you to do that. They got a problem with you doing that, but they don't want to have the business. How that shit go? Option one is a problem for you. Option two ain't even an a option, but you don't want to fuck. How does that shit go? You mean to tell me you just that motherfucker selfish? To not make sure that somebody being taken care of in a sexual way, but then you got the audacity to deny them from getting it from a fucking toy or somewhere else? They supposed to dry up and rot just because that's what the fuck you want to do? I need y'all to start taking control of your sex life. I don't give a fuck if it's your wife or your husband. You take control of your sex life, okay? God joins you together, okay? He ain't say that you wasn't still an individual. He joins you together, okay? Not you ain't an individual, they ain't an individual. He joins you together to be able to create something great, to, to create legacy, to create family, to create all of this stuff. He joined you together to create. How you gonna do anything if it won't nobody fuck? The last thing I have to say about sexless relationships, if you know that you are not a sexual person, you have an obligation to let the person that you're dealing with know, I don't be fucking like that. I ain't interested in it like that. You have an obligation to let them know that, okay? So that's going to wrap up Sex Talk with Sharonda. Make sure you go register on my website, www.dppgstore.com. Y'all, Untamed Kitty was off the motherfucking chain. It was off the chain. I want to give a special shout out to some of my uh, guests. Fire Red, thank you so much. You are awesome host. DJ Black, you did your things on the ones and twos. Alexis, yes, I had a female impersonator to open up my show. I had me a drag queen. Y'all know I say I'm, 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 I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. Baby, we about to have Pose right here in Baton Rouge. We about to have RuPaul Drag Race right here in Baton Rouge. Baby, I'm, I'm loving the queens. And 
Alexis, you did a wonderful, wonderful show last night. Jody, Superman, Danger, Slow Motion, Mr. Wrong, and Knight Rider. I tip my hat to you all. You did an awesome job last night. The catering staff, y'all did a wonderful job last night. And most of all, ladies, y'all looked fucking amazing last night in your fetish attire. I don't really think I saw anybody that just came in all black. Everybody literally came in fetish attire. Y'all, y'all really showed up and showed out last night. Um, I'm I'm just waiting on the video. I'm waiting on the video to drop. I got I had two videographers last night. I had one that comes from Houston, and then I had my husband last night. So I have two people that's putting the videos together for this shit because it was a motherfucking movie last night. And if you was there, bitch, if you was there last night, did you go home with whipped cream all over you? Am I the only person that had to uh, rinse this wig out because I had fucking whipped cream stuck out to it everywhere? Danger. You, you fucked us all up with that whipped cream last night, okay? Superman, that motherfucking bath. Look, this nigga bathe. Oh, bitch, when I say bathe, he bathe. I don't know. I'll never look at a, a fucking bath again like the, the same. I don't think I ever look at a lot of shit the same. Uh, <laughs> it was so much shit using honey buns. I ain't gonna ever look at the honey buns the same. For real, like, it was it was a lot of shit going on. You just had to see it for yourself. So, let me clarify something. That was my last public birthday show, okay? A bitch ain't say she was about to stop throwing shows. I'm gonna still throw March Madness, okay? March Madness is my baby, and I'm gonna still throw March Madness. It's just that for my birthday... I think I just want to enjoy it, meaning that I don't want to be stressed with the whole idea of planning something for my birthday. Um, so I won't be doing another birthday show, okay? So March Madness, if you want to turn up, you know one time a year, Baton Rouge cuts up one time a year. I just wish I could find a venue big enough um, to let us just do what the fuck we want to do without all of the backlash from y'all calling in trying to get people business to shut down or whatever y'all be calling y'all stuff doing. Untamed Kitty was off the chain last night, y'all. So, um, yeah, my husband was in the bed with a hangover. One little lady, baby, them drinks she was putting together, had Mr. Parker on his ass. When I say on his ass, on his ass, on his ass. So, you know, you did an awesome job. Awesome, awesome job. LaShonda, I got my outfit. I'm going to put my outfit on. Bitch, y'all gonna get it together. Y'all gonna stop asking me where I be shopping at because they right here in Baton Rouge. Y'all just don't be wanting to have to get off y'all ass and go. Y'all gonna have to go on Greenwood Springs Road and go check her out. Yes, y'all gonna have to do that. And I'm wearing the paparazzi set I got last night. Yeah, this paparazzi said $5, baby. Yes, ma'am. Earrings and necklace set. I said, I'm gonna find some shit to put together with this today. Because, you know. So... That wraps it up. I hope this helps somebody. Y'all, I hope this helps somebody. I know y'all don't be wanting to share my videos because my mouth is so filthy. So I know y'all don't want to share them on y'all page, but you can always send them to a person's messenger so that they can see the video. So if you got girlfriends, send it to their messenger. Yeah, I know a lot of y'all ain't bold enough to um actually share it to your page. And I understand that. You know, I really do. Um, and that's why I didn't do a lot of pictures last night because I really wanted my ladies to be comfortable and confident without feeling like the pictures was going to be all over the internet. If you saw a picture from me on the internet, I went and screenshot it off that bitch page and put it on the internet. I didn't even take pictures with my phone last night. Everything that was taken was with everybody else's phones. I deliberately did not have a photographer because I didn't want to be tempted to upload the pictures. So what I said was... I'm going to let everybody take pictures with their own phones. And as I see them uploading pictures on Facebook, I'm going to snatch them and share them off their page. Because if you posted it, bitch, you got to be all right. So if you posted it, that means I posted it. Okay? So that, uh, I think that wraps everything up. Oh, last thing. Um, The next thing that I'm having, this is actually free um, for couples. How to please your woman sexually. This is going to be September the 13th, 9 p.m. That's a Friday night, okay? So this is for couples, okay? This is not a fun party. This is educational, okay? But we're going to still turn the fuck up up in here. But it's not the traditional fun party. 
This is how to please your woman sexually, okay? I did this purposely on a Friday night because I was going to do it on a Sunday, but this football season, I know y'all ain't going to be able to pull them in from in front of them TVs on a Sunday. I knew you weren't going to be able to pull them on a Thursday. I knew you weren't going to be able to pull them on a Monday. All them is football days. And I want to be in front of the TV too because y'all know I love my saints. Um, so I purposely did a Friday night. Um, and I hope you all could come out. Make sure you go online and register for that. Of course, you got to go to my website. Um, a lot of y'all took advantage all over the, and it was more than just the United States. I got to ship shit all out the country. They took advantage of the 35% off the website. Y'all really, um, y'all, y'all nasty. Y'all gonna be cutting up in the bedroom. So yeah, if you need to come and get any of these dicks, any of these dicks on this table here, they mount up to the wall, to the side of your tub, the uh, toilet, chair, the edge of the coffee table. You can mount these anywhere. They got suction cups on them, so that means they stick to it. Okay? So, I think that kind of wraps me up today, y'all. Um, I'm here at the PPG store. I'm going to be here until uh, 5 o'clock. So, if you need to come see me, you need some one-on-one -on -one advice. Meaning, you come in here to spend some fucking money. Okay? Meaning that you need some advice to spice up your bedroom. You come in to spend some money. Come see me today. I'm not the counselor that's going to just come here. You come here and I listen to all your problems, okay? If you need to book a session with you and your spouse, that means that you need to book a session. That's online on my website as well. Uh, $75 for individual. No, 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 I got it wrong. $75 for couples, $100 for individuals. So, yeah, I, I have to do that because a lot of times people want to come in and they want to suck in, like a sponge. They want to soak it all in. But then you don't want to put nothing back, okay? So if you come in and you want to shop and you want me to help you out in your bedroom, come see me. If you need to book a session because you need to sit down face-to-face -face with me and talk one-on-one, -on -one, book a session, all right? Don't call the store because I got customers. I can't just talk to you on the phone all day, okay? Or you can send it to my inbox and I'll get to it as I can, you know, when I can get to it. So y'all have a blessed, wonderful week.